Iman Gadzi is the man behind arguably the fastest growing finance related YouTube channel. But what makes his videos so good? In this video we are going to cover the secrets of making a video in his style. And what makes it so much better is that there is little to no skill needed. His videos consist of clips of talking in front of the camera in two or three angles and motion graphics part which will be our main focus. 70% of his videos contains footage and 30% is motion graphics. He is combining different angles in order to keep the viewer watching. So in order to do that, every 3 or 4 seconds he will play the other angles. Now this is basically it. In combination with sound effects and music, this part is finished. However, what makes his videos pop off are motion graphics part, which explains difficult concepts and ideas in easy to understand way. We are going to need 3 software tools, which are Adobe Photoshop, After Effects and Premiere Pro. Adobe Illustrator is also needed, but you won't need any knowledge of this program. Inside Adobe Premiere Pro you are going to organize your video. Here you can cut your clips, edit audio and import music and sound effects. From here you are going to export clips to Adobe After Effects where you are going to create the motion graphics part. This is done by creating black videos, right click on your mouse, editing as After Effects composition and boom, now you can start with motion graphics. His motion graphics are made from text, icons and 3D layers. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to need Illustrator but only for layer management. So in order to find icons, I am going to use Envato. You can find an icons pack which you can open in Illustrator. Then you find a suitable icon, place it on another file and then import it in After Effects. Many of his animations are really basic transformation effects combined with presets and visual effects. However, certain 2D animations are more complex so you'll need a better understanding of character animation and rigging. Iman uses an effect that I like to call hyping, where animation has a sort of glitchy effect. This is achieved by going to composition settings and changing the frame rate to for example 6, 8 or 10 frames per second depending on the project. However, you should do this after you create your animation. This effect is achieved by grouping every part in one composition except for the background which stays static. Inside the group you can place your videos and below draw a line using a pencil. Then go to add and trim paths. There you are going to create a beginning and end keyframe for the end effect. So it goes from 0 to 100%. You are going to end this scene by creating this number animation. Select the type tool, then create a mask. Create one keyframe for position and one for opacity. Then when you want your effect to end, create another set of keyframes. Here opacity will be 100% and position will hold the beginning value. When it comes to effects and presets, you can add a glow effect. For this animation we are going to need text and rectangle tools. First create a rectangle and remove the fill color. Increase stroke size and then using the type tool create a tie box. Here you are going to create a mask. Next by adjusting position and opacity you can create a desired effect. Then by using trim pads you can create a downloading effect. For this effect you are going to play with 3D layers. So create a blank rectangle and then select a 3D layer. Then you are going to play with X, Y and Z rotation. Then go to effects and presets and type drop shadow. Here you are going to increase opacity to 100% and change color to a slightly darker version. Then in the direction create a keyframe and reveal it in the timeline. For this effect you will need a keyframe in the beginning and one in the end position. The end position will hold the desired value while the beginning must hold zero. Then you can add easy ease to your keyframes and boom you have one more effect that Iman uses in his videos. Finally, we have this animation. For this, you'll need a card image and one icon. You can download everything on Envato. So you import the icon and card, and then you must adjust the anchor point. This is only necessary for icon images. Right click on your mouse, go to transformation, and then center the anchor point in layer content. This will automatically center your anchor point. Then you can go to rotation, 
and add as many circles as you want your icon to go around. Next, we're going to animate a card. Again, add a 3D layer. Then use Y, X, Y, and Z rotation values to achieve the desired effect. We have covered four types of animation that Iman uses in his videos. However, there are many more that needs to be covered. So if you want to see more, please leave a comment saying we want more. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.